Self-destruct sequence activated. Three, two, one. Is this your homework, Larry? Just ask him about the car, man. Is this yours, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Is that your car out front? Is this your homework, Larry? We know it's his f***ing homework. Where's the f***ing money, you little brat? All right, so we are in the last lesson of chapter four, and this is a pretty important one. We are going to go over confirmations. So basically, confirmations are metrics uh, that you will use to either confirm or deny either a trading pattern, trading idea, um, or any other forecast or indicator on a chart. So basically, a confirmation describes a pattern that shows a sustainable trading opportunity and which by virtue of its persistence is confirmed or given credibility. Now, some key takeaways from this lesson, uh, confirmation it will require several data points to be achieved by price action to validate a pattern. Confirmation on a chart refers to these several data points in confirming or lending credibility to the validity of a technical pattern or a trend on a price chart. Now, candlestick patterns are confirmed in just one trading day depending on what time frame you are on, uh, using the open, close, high, and low prices, but maybe combined over several days for different analysis. Now, this key takeaway here uh, is kind of important. So depending on the time frame you are looking at, right, it will make a huge difference in the chart pattern that you are looking at as well. So confirmations on a daily time frame for a much larger chart pattern, uh, maybe different confirmations for a chart pattern you spot, say, on the four-hour time frame. All right, moving right along. Uh, confirmation is not the same as confluence. Again, it is not the same as confluence. However, a confluence of confirmations is the idea behind validating patterns for forecasting price action. So this entire chapter, we've been working on building your skills to be able to forecast price action and use your technical analysis skills to predict where a price may go and when. So that's exactly what we're doing and you will use a number of metrics, also referred to as confirmations, to validate your idea as time moves on. So let's get into a little bit on what I mean. So confirmation really refers to the use of an additional indicator or indicators to substantiate a trend suggested by one indicator. Since technical indicators are not perfect predictors of future price movements, a trader often feels more secure deciding to act on a signal if more than one indicator is sending the same signal. Now, if different indicators send conflicting signals, this is known as divergence. Uh, when different indicators send agreeing signals, this is known as confluence. Now, we've discussed this quite a bit so far throughout this entire course. This is a very important concept to grasp. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm sure you don't have a problem. But if you do, go back uh, and review chapter one just to get an idea of what I mean by confluence. So two different technical indicators such as volume or moving averages help establish the prevalence of a trend for traders. Now confirmation of trends can be susceptible to something called confirmation bias. So what is confirmation bias? Uh, so if you say we're looking at Bitcoin for example and you're a huge Bitcoin fan, you are going to unintentionally or subconsciously look for bullish confluence and unintentionally ignore bearish indicators that suggest the trend may be going in the opposite way that you hope it goes. Again, never trade on feelings and never trade on hope. Always trade what you see on the chart. All right, so technic technical indicators really fall into four broad categories. Those are trend, momentum, volatility, and volume. So when you're seeking confirmation for a trade signal provided by one indicator, it is usually best to look to another indicator from a different category. Otherwise, the same or similar inputs are counted multiple times, giving the illusion of confirmation when in fact little new information has been taken into account in your price action forecast. Okay, so for example, um, I've, there's an example here in the uh, course 
or chapter PDF, excuse me, that you can go through. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll go through one on the chart right now. Okay. So here is the Bitcoin 12 hour chart. Now this is back from, uh, we'll say November to November 2018 to March of 2019, a pretty significant amount of time, right? And we just had a significant drop in the Bitcoin price here, as you can see. And we are looking for a type of reversal pattern, right? Or a continuation pattern. That's really out in the open. So what I would mean by confirmation bias is if you are hoping and you are sure based on what you've been reading in the news or heard from your favorite YouTube influencer, Bitcoin is bullish. It's going to the moon. So you are an intentionally, you are unintentionally, you are going to try to seek out bullish confirmations and bullish confluence to help validate your confirmation bias. Now, a successful trader will trade whatever the chart is telling him or her. So if this is going to continue to the downside, you will be hopefully learning that and finding that. Uh, if this is going to continue to the upside, you're going to see what you have on the chart, look at your indicators and look and see if there's anything telling you that the price may continue. And if you are confident that the price is going to continue, you will then move into another set of confirmations to confirm Firm your entry or exit into this trade. Okay, so let's look at this uh, consolidation range here. So we had a fairly decent drop off here. Price is consolidating laterally here, but what, what we're seeing is price is coming back up to this area of resistance and it's meeting some pretty significant sell pressure, right? So buyers step in, send the price back up, meets this area of resistance, sellers sell there, send the price back down. But you know, the bulls keep stepping in at every new lower level, sending the price back up, meeting this area of resistance again, sellers send it back down, but this time it's not not nearly as significant as it was back here. This lets you know that there is some bullish momentum building up on this chart. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the chart pattern that we possibly see. So if you remember when drawing trend lines, you're either connecting wicks and wicks or bodies and bodies. Personally, I like to use wicks. It gives you a bit more free range to find these chart patterns. Um, and, you know, just for example, in this example, just for reference, in this example, uh, we are using regular candles, not Heikinashi candles, okay? Um, so this is what we found. So we found and identified our area of pretty significant resistance here. So we've come up and we've tested this resistance. Uh, this one doesn't count, but uh, this is just the continuation of the downside. So we came down here and we hit this bottom, made a lower low, came up and tested this area of resistance twice here, got sent back down, came up, attempted to test this area one more time here, didn't quite make it up that far. Sellers are right there waiting. Price got sent back down. Bull stepped in, sent the price back up, tested this area of resistance another time. That gives us almost three, four touches here, letting us know that bulls are working on breaking down this area of resistance, okay? Um, and how do we know that the bulls are building a bit more momentum than the bears? Well, we are putting in a series of higher lows, okay, with a series of fairly equivalent highs, just a little bit higher than the, than the last, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and finish drawing our chart pattern. So here we have these two touches here, and, you know, this could come over here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Yeah, see, that doesn't, that doesn't quite touch there. So we want to draw something a bit closer to the price action, letting us know uh, indeed where we are. So that's two touches on the price action there. Um, and that, that looks pretty good. Now, one thing you can do when you're trying to draw a triangle chart pattern is if you go to your tools here on the left-hand side and click on triangle chart pattern, right? So we'll start our A right here. Our B will go right here. Our C will go right here. And our D will go on this final touch of this trend line. And look at that. It gives us a very, very clean triangle. Now, what's the first thing that we should notice about this triangle? It appears to be an ascending triangle. Now, this is indeed a bullish reversal pattern. So what we are looking for are some confirmations to confirm that this pattern is indeed 
an ascending triangle. So what are the characteristics of an ascending triangle? Well, you have one downward or one lower upward sloping trend line and a fairly level upper level of resistance connected by two trend lines that at least have two touches. So our first set of confirmations are filled. So we've got our one touch on the top, our second touch on the top, that would be represented by A and C, and then our first touch on the bottom, and then our second touch on the bottom, that would be represented by A or B and D rather, excuse me. Okay, so we are fairly sure that this pattern is an ascending triangle. Now ascending triangles do have a bullish bias to them, meaning they break bullish more than they break bearish however they do still break to the downside on the occasion okay so we're looking at this chart we know we're running at about a 64 percent bullish breakout with the completion of this pattern okay so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicators so we just confirm this pattern by getting our second touch on the lower trend line here on point d and we are going to look at our indicators to try to confirm this, okay? So it looks like we have um, bullish momentum starting to pick up, as you can see by the change in color on the MACD histogram, okay? Um, and we got a higher low on price, and we have some exaggerated bullish divergence here on the RSI, okay? So these are the same levels on the RSI, but we have a higher low in price, okay? And we're looking down here at our stochastic RSI. If we zoom in, we can see that we did get a bullish cross here on the touch of this lower trend line of this pattern. Okay, so in the next chapter, we are going to go over structuring your trade, how to enter and exit in your trade. This chapter is more or less focused on confirming and identifying price action. So that's all we're going to go through here today in this is identifying and confirming and validating this pattern. All right, so we are looking good on our indicators, letting us know that from this touch of point D, we should be heading further to the upside. So moving on now, this example we have here in the PDF. Now to determine the pattern is in either a continuation or reversal pattern, the trader should be looking for confirmations to forecast the probability of the Bitcoin price moving forward, moving up and a reversal or moving down as a continuation. Okay, so we've identified this pattern as an ascending triangle. This is a bullish reversal pattern. So we are looking for price to reverse and continue pushing further to the upside. Okay. So we've got our confirmations confirming this pattern. We have looked at our indicators. We do have a bullish cross here. Uh, that is a confirmation adding confluence to the idea that the price action will continue to push further to the upside. Okay. So now we are confident that the price is going to move to the upside. So our next set of confirmations will be confirming the bullish case for this pattern breaking to the upside. So what are those confirmations going to be? So we are pretty sure that this is an ascending triangle. Now you will see a chart pattern fillable PDF that is attached and there's also another link in the course PDF here. Um, and you can use this fillable PDF for when you identify chart patterns, you can type in your confirmations down here. Now I have five listed here for this chart pattern diary. You can add as many as you want. Typically, the more confirmations you have, the better, but you can overdo it if you have too many, uh, you know, contradicting confirmations, if that does happen. So what you're looking for here uh, as confirmation, so we're going to go ahead and look at the volume. Okay, bring the volume back up. Um, you can even use your moving averages. So you'll bring up your Fibonacci moving averages. And you can see that we are above the 212 hour EMA. We did get a bounce off the 55 200 hour EMA. And at the touch of this trend line, we did get a fairly decent volume spike. Okay, so confirming this as resistance. Another thing you'll look for here is a giant red volume candle letting us know that there's a bunch of sell volume there and sure enough there it is okay and then confirming that this indeed is also a uh, area of resistance you can see that we have the red volume candles confirming this is a very significant level of resistance there 
Okay, so moving forward, so we are sure that this pattern is an ascending triangle. We are holding support above the 255 12 hour EMA, but we are below the 21 and the 13 12 hour EMA. Okay, so this is letting us know that we are likely heading further to the upside. So our next confirmation to fully confirm this pattern, one will be a break across this upper trend line, followed by or accompanying a volume confirmation. So the breakout and validation of this pattern would be one, move across this upper trend line, and two, the volume confirmation, meaning you will get a volume bar, in this case a green volume bar, moving across the 21 volume moving average. That would give you a volume confirmation on this 12 hour chart. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, so price, boom, all right? This is our confirmation that this pattern is indeed a bullish reversal pattern, okay? And the way we can confirm that is, one, we broke across the upper trend line, two, we got the massive volume confirmation here, and three, we are now up above the moving averages, and we did get a golden cross prior to the breakout of the pattern, and you can see that right here, okay? And there's one down here as well. So this is a bullish reversal pattern confirmed breakout, okay? And by what I mean, again, I will repeat this again, a volume confirmation is a long green volume spike across the volume moving average, letting you know that volume on that time frame that you're looking at has moved well across the average traded volume 21 periods back, or in this case, that would be uh, 10 and a half days. All right. Well, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a DM. But that's confirmations. We will move into another set of confirmations once we learn how to structure and enter into a trade. All right. Let's go.